just share with you how I put my little school days mini album together. I want to show you this is the paper collection that I use. This is the digital paper collection. And this is the Etsy shop that I got it from. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in here. It is pretty graphic design. And right now it is August summer sale by 15, get $5 off. Okay, and this is the papers, the collections that I used. I got this pack as well as these two here. And these are the cut aparts that I'm using. And again, that is pretty graphic design. And it is on Etsy, Etsy.com. And I will leave the link to her store in the description bar below. Okay, so to get started, what you're going to need are two pieces of 8x8 eight eight medium weight chipboard is what I'm using. Okay, and then you need one piece that is 2x8 medium weight chipboard. Okay, and then you're going to need two pieces of 12x12 12 12 cardstock. And I'm using black cardstock. And I've already added my quarter inch score tape. Now I'm going to take my scoreboard. Okay, and I use my scoreboard just to line up my papers to make sure, you know, they're as straight as I can get them. So I'm going to peel the backing off. Okay, I'm going to place this 12 inch piece, 12 by 12, at the 6. At the 6 and a quarter, so my score tape is at the 6. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece, and I'm holding my thumb underneath here so it doesn't lay down yet. Okay, I'm going to butt it up against the top of the scoreboard here. All right, I'm going to take it to the 6 with both pieces butted up against the top. I'm just going to let it go. All right, and press it down. Okay, and all that does is it gives you a straight edge here. You know, sometimes it can be difficult to line your papers up, but is if you use your scoreboard, you know it works out pretty well. Okay. So now, I'm not going to be able to get all of this in frame, but I'm going to, you know, do my best here. Alright, so this is my 12x12. 12 12, two pieces put together. Alright, I have my two 8x8s eight and my 2x8. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to center this 2x8 along this seam here. Okay, if you can see that seam right here shining. Alright, I'm going to take my 2x8 and place it in the center of that seam. Okay, that's going to give me about an inch and a half to two inches here all right that's about two inches here as well as two inches here okay so i'm going to glue that down then i'm going to take and leave about an eighth of an inch spacing between each piece here okay so it's going to look about like this all right then i'm going to glue all three of these down okay so you're going to have about this much spacing on this side you're two inches at the top. You have this much space here. And then you're two inches at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap my album. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have the album wrapped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this to the side. Okay, and now I'm going to do my binding. Okay, and my binding here, you need a piece that is seven and three eighths by eleven. Okay, and... I've already scored mine, and this is on black, so you're probably not going to see it very well. So I did also do it in white, so you can see here, you know, where to make your score lines. And I also printed it out. So this way, you know, you can screenshot it if you need to, or write this down, you know, but this is where you're going to score. Okay, your binding piece is going to be 7 and 3 eighths by 11. You're going to score at 1 and 3 quarters, 2 and a quarter, 2 and 3 quarters, 3 three and a half, four, four and a quarter, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, five and a half, six, six and a half, six and three quarters, seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters, eight, eight and a half, and nine. Okay? So again, if you want to screenshot that or write it down, you know, pause the video, do whatever, but you're scoring at one and three quarters, two and a quarter, two and three quarters, three, three and a half, four, four and a quarter, 
four and three quarters, five and a quarter, five and a half, six, six and a half, six and three quarters, seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters, eight, eight and a half, and nine. Okay, so I'll hold this up so you can see this as well. Okay, and that's going to give you an inch and three quarters on this side and two inches on this side. If you want to cut that extra little piece off, go right ahead. It's not going to matter, you know, because it's going to be covered up anyway. Okay, so that is your binding measurements, your binding measurements. Okay, now I'm going to take it. I'm going to go ahead and fold up. And I'm not sure, you know, the easiest way for to explain, you know, how to do this. I do have a video showing you how, you know, I put my binding together. So I will also leave that in the description bar below. But what you're going to do is you're going to take these two half inch pieces. Okay, you can fold them up like this and press it down and fold on that little score line. Okay, that's one way of doing your binding. You know, these two little half inch pieces, each two inch piece, each, sorry, each half inch piece, squeeze it together. All right, and then just press it down and it'll kind of fold, you know, it'll kind of catch those little score lines there. So you can either do it this way or the other way, you know, that I have linked in the description bar below. Or, you know, you may have your own way. That's totally your choice. But these are the measurements for how I do the binding for this 8x8 album. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to glue it together. And then I'll be right back. Okay. So now that I have all of my adhesive on, I've already glued it all together. So this is what it looks like. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in. Okay? I'm going to center it up. Making sure that I have about the same amount of space on each side here and the same amount up here. And if you want to, you can measure this. But, you know, if you watch my videos and my tutorials, you know I like to eyeball stuff. Okay, so this is where I'm going to place mine down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pencil. Okay. And I'm just going to make a little mark here. So I'll know, you know... To put it on this side okay so now I'm going to take my adhesive off then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the adhesive off the back of this I'm going to add wet glue which will be my art glitter glue as well as this score tape here then I'm going to place it down and I'll be right back okay so now that I have it in my binding piece in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bone folder. I'm just going to press this little seam here. Okay. I'm going to do that on both sides. Just press it down. You know, don't press down too hard now. But you know, you want to get the little groove going there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this side. I'm going to press and bend. Okay. While I'm pressing, I'm bending. Alright, there you go. I'm going to turn it over. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm just going to press and bend. Okay. And there you have it. Here is your album cover with your binding in. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Alright, now. I'm going to work on the front and the back cover. And I'm going to make them both the same. Okay, so what you're going to need is... A piece that is six by ten and a half. All right, you're going to take it in your scoreboard. Sorry about the noise here. Okay. With your ten and a half inch side at the top, you're going to score at half, at one, and at one and a half. Okay. You're going to rotate it around to the opposite side. You're going to score at a half one and one and a half okay you're going to do that on both pieces now for the front and the back okay now you're going to take and you're going to fold in your score lines okay so i'm going to take this first one here fold it up 
burnish it down. Okay, now I'm going to take this next one, fold it up, burnish it down. Now I'm going to take and flip my paper over and fold it back. Okay. And this is what you have. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All right, I'm just going to take it, fold it. All right, so your first fold will be down. Your next fold will be up. Okay, and then your last fold will be down. Okay, so this is what you have. You have like a little accordion here on each side. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to take your album, and you can do this to the front or the back, either one, you know, because they're both going to be the same. Okay, but this is what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch from each side, so I have a quarter inch spacing here, a quarter inch spacing here, and a quarter inch spacing here. Okay, so I want to add my glue, and if you want to also, you can take... And when you press this down here, you know, you may get a little bulk. So if you want to, you can just take these little corners here and just miter them off. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to take them and miter them off. Okay. Now. Alright, if you want, you can do that to the top and the bottom. I think I'm going to do both of them. Okay. So what you're doing is you're mitering all four sides here. Okay. Now, you're going to take your adhesive. All right, you want to bend these down. Okay, so we're going to add adhesive to this edge here. Okay, so we have our long piece, our little accordion, and our glue is going on this bottom piece here. Okay, so you're going to add glue to both of these on each side. And you're also going to add glue to the bottom. Okay. So just take you some glue and run it along the bottom here. Okay, and I'm going to take my book. Okay, I'm going to hold my little accordions down. You're going to get glue on your fingers, don't worry about it. All right, again, you need to go about a quarter of an inch spacing on each side as well as the bottom. Or that's the spacing I'm doing. You know, you can do whatever space you want to, but that's the spacing that I'm doing. Okay, now you want to hold it there, burnish it down. Okay, you see I got glue coming out over there. That's no big deal. When that glue comes out, you know that it's sealed all the way to the edge. Okay, so just take your little finger, fingernail, pokey tool, whatever you have, and just wipe it off. Okay. Now, you see here I have a little, my bottoms are wanting to come up here. I'm just going to take my glue. Add a little extra glue down in there. I'm going to do that on both sides. You know, don't be scared to use your glue. Okay. What I'm going to do to help hold it together, I'm going to take some clothespins and just put them right here on the edges. Okay. And that's going to help hold it. 
together there. And again, just wipe your glue off there if it's coming out. And if you're using art glitter glue, it's going to dry clear anyway, so it's no big deal. Okay, now I'm going to add a closure lid here, which will be three and a half by seven and a half. On your three and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half. Okay, so three and a half inch side at the top, score it a half. Okay, you're going to fold down and burnish. I'm going to use my chomper here, my little rounder. You can use a decorative punch, you know, all the way across, whatever you want to use. This is just what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to take my book. I'm going to turn it sideways here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, and I've still got my clothespins on. They're not going to be in my way because I'm working up here at the top. Okay, so I'm going to take my lid. I'm going to add my glue. Okay, now, I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch down. So that way I'll have a quarter of an inch spacing at the top, the two sides, as well as the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up with my pocket here. Before I press it down, I'm making sure that it's lined up with my pocket. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down. Okay, so there you go. You need to open it up, press it down again. You know, you want to make sure that pocket is on there, that lid, closure, whatever you want to call this flap. You want to make sure it's on there really well. Okay, and there you go. Now you have your lid with your expandable pocket. All right, and again, I'm going to do the same thing to the front. So my front and my back are both going to have expandable pockets. All right, I'm going to add a magnet. So I'm going to take my magnet. And, you know, being the pocket is kind of large, the lid here is, you know, kind of large, I'm going to add a magnet to um, two sides here. Okay. I'm just going to take my score tape and just add on my magnets. Okay, and you probably want to put them on your lid part here so you know that you'll have enough of space. the backing off there okay and I'm just gonna close it down and when you close it down make sure you hold your pocket you know make sure it's not all up like this okay hold it down and just press down and there you go okay so that's how you add your magnets okay y'all so to get started making our pages what you're gonna need we're going to start off making our page base first. Okay, so you're going to need six pieces that are seven and a half by seven and a half. Okay, you're going to need six pieces that are seven and a half by eight and a half. On your eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half, rotate around, score it a half. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to fold down and burnish your score lines here. Okay. Now you're going to take and add your adhesive, and for mine, I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue. And this does not have any glitter in it, that's just the name of it. Okay, so I'm going to add my adhesive. Okay, and I'm going to take my 7.5 by 7.5. I'm just going to line it up. Alright, I'm going to have it where I want it. When I think it's straight, I'm going to lay it down, press it down. Okay, you want to burnish. And you're going to have glue come out. That's no big deal. Just wipe it off. Okay.
Okay, and I'm going to turn it around. Do the other side here. Okay, just add my glue to my little flap here. I'm going to fold this down. And press. Okay, and again, you have glue come out, wipe it off. It's no big deal. Alright, now, what you're going to do. Alright, this is our page base. So you're going to have an opening to the right and an opening to the left. Okay. Now, you're going to take a piece that is seven and a half by 11. On your 11 inch side, you're going to score to half and at seven and a half. Okay. You're going to fold these and burnish. Okay. And this flap here that we're going to fold, this piece here, you can fold it up or down. Okay. I'm going to fold mine down. And this is what it looks like okay so I have my little flap here and I have my large flap here okay now I use my we are memory keepers um corner rounder chomper thing here and I'm gonna use the quarter inch side so what I did I just chomped my little corners all right then I'm gonna open it up and chomp these little side pieces here okay so this is what you have all right, so you have your little half inch piece here, and then you have your piece here that the corners have been rounded. Okay, you're gonna take your page base, opening to the right, opening to the left. All right, we're gonna add adhesive to our little flap here, to our little half inch piece. All right, we're gonna take it to the left hand side. Remember, opening is to the left. All right, so I'm just going to take it, lay it on top, making sure it's straight. Okay, then I'm going to press it down and burnish. Okay, you want to open it up, press it down again. All right, there's some more of that glue coming out. Just wipe it off. All right, so that is the front of our pages. Okay, you're going to have a large flap, then you're going to have this small flap. All right, now what you want to do is you want to flip your page base over. So this is the back of our page. You need a piece that is three and a half by eight and a half. On your eight and a half inch side, you're going to score to half, rotate, score to half, rotate, score to half. Okay, then you're going to take not your corners. Okay. And now this is what you have. Okay, you have your two little corners here that have been notched out. Okay, if you want to use the decorative punch, go ahead and do that now. This is the punch that I used. This is from EK Success. It's just a scallop punch. Okay, so I've already done that. And what I did was I just cut my little corners off here. That way, whenever I fold down and burnish my little score lines, you won't have that extra piece hanging over there. All right, so you want to fold all three of your score lines, burnish. And if you have these little tails hanging here, I'm not sure if that's going to show up there, but I have a little piece of extra hanging here. All right, if you have that, just take your scissors, cut it off. All right, I have one here too, so just cut it off. Okay, now what you want to do Okay, we have our page base that has been flipped over. So this is the front. The flap is on the left. All right, we flip it over. Now we have our opening to the left and opening to the right. Okay, you want to tack down your little half inch piece here on the bottom of your pocket. All right, now you wanna add your adhesive on all three of your little flaps. Okay, now you want to take it all the way to the bottom, making sure that it's lined up on both sides here. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. All right, now that gives you your pocket. The booklet for this pocket will be 7 by 11. 
on your 11 inch side you're going to score it at five and a half okay then you're just going to fold it and burnish okay and that's it you tuck your little booklet in here and there you go i made all six pages of this album the same and the reason why i did that is because you know each grade you may have like the same picture you know the first day of school the last day of school you know you may have um a party a birthday you know uh, a play you know a christmas play or something like that but i wanted to make it the same that way you know your kindergarten page would be the same as your first grade page your first grade page is the same as the second and third and fourth grade page but you know this is a school album but you can make this album any way you want to you know it doesn't have to be just for school you can make it a christmas album you know you can make it whatever kind of album you want to hey y'all i wanted to show you too um i did add magnets to mine so i added a magnet here and then i let it catch on this side and i also added this little pull tab thingy here and all this is is just seam binding this is seam binding that i had dyed um, a green color to match my decorative paper here and so all I did was I just glued it here okay and that's it all right so I added my magnet and my little pull tab here okay so there you have it you have your front and back pockets okay you have your binding so all you need to do now is add in your pages okay and to add your pages what you're gonna do I'm not gonna do mine on camera I'm gonna do mine off camera all right but what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your little tunnel here okay you're gonna have adhesive on your flap and you're just gonna take and add your little tunnel piece to your flap and of course it doesn't want to go on because I'm on camera so what I'm gonna do there we go okay what I'm gonna do to help mine go on easier is I'm gonna miter my corners okay so I'm just gonna take my scissors here I'm just gonna miter my corners just like this so I'm only cutting off you know this little teeny piece here okay I'm not sure if you can see that or not see I'm just gonna miter my corner here all right and that's gonna help the page go on and off better all right so this is what you'll have and when you put your pages on, if you already have them decorated, make sure you put them on right. Like this is kindergarten, so this is going to go to my first page here. Alright, and now all you have to do is decorate. And let me tell you too, so you don't forget, because sometimes I forget as well. Make sure you add your closure. If you're going to use seam binding, make sure you add your seam binding to the front and the back of your covers before you add on your design paper. Okay? So, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.